Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. A new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 17692 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and using the skip ahead option. And the change in this build, there's quite a few actually. Um, we're getting, I think, towards the middle to the end of the development process for Redstone 5, uh, which this is a build part of. And there's a bug bash coming up in a couple of weeks. So I think they're getting the last few features in. Uh, and one of the changes in the, this build is with the on-screen keyboard. The, is, they've incorporated SwiftKey into the on-screen keyboard. So let me show you what I mean. So here we've got the on-screen keyboard. SwiftKey is um, an Android keyboard and, uh, and iOS keyboard um, that has got um, a lot of sort of intelligence built into it for use, for predictive text and for um, for understanding phrases and that kind of thing. And that's exactly what's been built into um, into this build of Windows 10 now. So while the keyboard itself um, you know, you can't see any difference. The technology is uh, is there behind the scenes, and uh, as you can see, you know, it, it's guessing the words or predicting the words. And um, it did that before, but now it's using SwiftKey to sort of a bit of extra intelligence. It's available for U.S. English, U.K. English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Brazilian, and Russian. So there you can see using it like with the swift key sort of swipe motion which i really like okay what else has improved in this um change in this build now one of the the settings as mentioned in the release notes is the option to control media to play automatically allow sites to automatically play media i actually i've gone to the advanced settings on my machine here and i don't actually see that now whether that's a region setting um, or whether i'm just uh, missing something i'm not quite sure but um yeah i would expect to see that in there um so maybe that's coming to region in the in the future so here in settings there's a new setting for the text size in ease of access and you just you can change this uh, and then just apply it which I think is a nice simple uh, setting and uh, makes that nice and easy for people to use, which is good. Uh, there's narrator improvements for reading dialogue boxes and so on. Uh, game bar has been improved. There's improved audio controls and performance visualization. So you can actually see the frame rate, frame, frame rate, CPU usage, GPU usage, and system RAM when playing in games. And um, for Windows Mixed Reality, I can't show you on here. I'm not, Windows Mixed Reality running on the Surface Pro 3 because it wouldn't run. But for Windows Mixed Reality users, you can now mirror the audio from the headset um, through the main PC speakers. So currently, uh, we, you've either got to have the audio for Mixed Reality going through the headset or going through your PC speakers. Now you can choose to mirror those so you can have it going on both, which I think is, is pretty good. And they're making it so that the Mixed Reality portal can be updated through the Microsoft Store. So we don't perhaps have to wait for major changes to come down through or even minor changes to come down through the Windows update as sort of big uh, updates like the April update or the, this Redstone 5 update. We'll get them through the store. And in search, they've uh, continued to improve that experience. Uh, they're making it easier to find um, the official page for Windows software you went to install. Um, so I think if you do search for, say, GitHub, as the, the example, Microsoft. So you sort of get the official pages for this uh, for it now, rather than uh, sort of generic searches. It is a server-side uh, setting, so not, you may not see this. You may see it regardless of whether you've got this build. Uh, the other improvements are some audio glitching and firewall issues, some eye tracking fixes, some fixes for certain games, um, fixes some issues with Explorer and Microsoft Edge. Known issues is the login screen will crash in a loop when the active signing method is set to picture password. So get rid of your picture password before you update to this build. Um, otherwise, you could be stuck in the loop. This build will only be offered to insiders running 16, uh, 17655 on higher. You won't be able to get this update if you've got RS4 installed. So you need to get 17686, then you get this. They're still working on dark mode. There's a couple of DRM issues with websites like Netflix, but you should still be able to use the Netflix apps if the website doesn't work. 
So those are the main changes with this build. They are um, closer to release. Then uh, oh, this, I want, this should be working its way to HoloLens as well, but I'll do that as a separate video. You can find out more on thedigitallifestyle.com. You can go on our YouTube channel, and I'm at iStix on Twitter. Thanks for watching.